aircraft carriers carry immense strength and firepower. Their combat elements, including carrier-borne aircraft, have been and will remain the game-changer in our maritime domain. The Indian Navy, as the key manifestation of India's maritime power, plays a central role to ensure national security and interests. It has emerged as a strong catalyst for peace and stability in the region. Our expansive coastline serves one of the world's busiest maritime trade routes. The Indian Ocean region is critical to global economy both for sea lines of communication and resources in maritime zones. Almost all major global powers have either deployed or plan to deploy substantial naval forces making our maritime domain vulnerable to threats. The Indian Navy's primary task is to maintain good order at sea to serve the national interest. Accordingly, the Indian Navy has no option but to be strong and multidimensional. The Indian Navy lies at the heart of national prosperity, growth and India's global stature as a major power. An aircraft carrier is a prime enabler to fulfill that core mandate. An aircraft carrier-based carrier battle group or CBG with its combined offensive potential including escort force and embarked air wing is the cornerstone of our power projection at sea and from the sea. The Indian Navy's area of operation is much beyond the maximum reach of shore-based fighters, even with air-to-air -air refueling. Threats emerging from enemy ships and aircraft need immediate attention, with assets available here and now. Thus, air power at sea is critical. A navy cannot be tethered to the shore for want of air power. An aircraft carrier brings home a vast array of strategic advantages. It provides enormous operational flexibility. Its primary missions can change between surveillance air defense, airborne early warning, protection of sea lines of communication and anti-submarine warfare. Maritime strike is another mission undertaken by carrier-based fighters. Further, strikes can also be launched on shore targets, thus influencing the land battle from sea. A CBG is a potent deterrent to the enemy's maritime recce aircraft. It prevents the adversary from developing credible maritime domain awareness. This also degrades their ability to collect target information. A carrier battle group is immensely mobile. It can relocate up to 1,000 kilometers in 24 hours. It can sanitize more than 400 kilometers around it. Thus, it can be relocated to a new theater of operation within a short time. Aircraft carriers are hard targets. This is because of their inherent mobility and concentration of force 
due to their escort force. Hence, they are far less vulnerable to enemy strikes than shore-based airfields. For India, the carrier battle group, with its inherent combat elements and firepower, becomes a key capability to establish effective air dominance and sea control in our domain of interest. The importance of aircraft carriers continues to be acknowledged the world over. Key global maritime powers are today operating carriers with fixed-wing aircraft. Some others, like South Korea, Australia and Japan are either operating helicopter carriers or contemplating construction of new carriers. Our immediate neighbour China is also operating two aircraft carriers and the third is under construction. As per available inputs, they are likely to have four operational aircraft carriers by 2024, with the eventual aim of having a 10 aircraft carrier navy by 2049. Right from the birth of India as a nation, the need for aircraft carriers was felt for India to be considered a blue water navy. Since the 60s, the Indian Navy has had the unique distinction of operating all variants of aircraft launch and recovery systems like Katobar, Stoviel and Stobar. INS Vikrant A majestic class 19,500-ton Katobar or catapult-assisted takeoff but arrested recovery carrier. She was India's much-loved first aircraft carrier. INS Vikrant was the first ever carrier for an Asian country. It remained so for a long time. Vikrant played a stellar role in the 1971 war with Pakistan that led to the birth of Bangladesh. The carrier was deployed in the Bay of Bengal. Its two air squadrons of Seahawk fighter jets and Alize surveillance aircraft were used in strikes on enemy ports, merchant ships and other targets. Vikrant also prevented Pakistani forces in the eastern sector from escaping through maritime routes. INS Vikrant served India for over 36 years. It was a source of immense national pride over several decades of service. Vikrant was decommissioned in 1997. INS Virat, India's second aircraft carrier, was a short takeoff and vertical landing carrier or Stoviel. It was commissioned in 1987. Virat served as the flagship of the Indian Navy for almost three decades. INS Vikramaditya, a modified Kiev-class aircraft carrier of the Russian Navy, entered service in 2013. It immediately became the pride of the Indian Navy.
the 44,500 ton vessel can carry up to 34 aircraft including both fighter jets and helicopters. It has been refitted for a short takeoff but arrested recovery or stow bar configuration. This provides better launch and recovery capabilities. Fully equipped with state-of-the-art technology and with her complete stock of provisions, INS Vikramaditya is capable of sustaining herself for an extended duration and extended ranges at sea. With over 1,600 personnel, INS Vikramaditya is literally a floating city. with all aspects of living on board taken care of. RC warriors have access to all required facilities. Life on board this massive vessel is a continued saga of ceaseless commitment and operational excellence. It's also loaded with mirth and excitement. Our aircraft carriers till the recent past were either built by the British or the Russians. The new Vikrant is the first aircraft carrier completely designed and built in India. This indigenous aircraft carrier or IAC-1 has emerged as a glowing testimonial to Atmanirbhar Bharat. The massive ship has been designed by the Indian Navy's Directorate of Naval Design and built at the Cochin Shipyard Limited, a public sector shipyard under the Ministry of Shipping. Over 76% of the material and equipment on the new Vikrant is indigenous with 80 to 85% of the project cost being ploughed back into the economy. During its making, about 2,000 workers were employed on board IAC-1 every day. The Indian Navy is a formidable resident maritime power in the IOR. and the aircraft carrier battle group remains central to its concept of operations. The aviation element of the CBG brings on a deadly offensive power. This further becomes an effective deterrent to enemy forces. with a capacity to carry over 30 aircraft on board. For INS Vikramaditya, the MiG-29K swing roll fighter remains the main offensive platform. They provide a quantum jump for the Indian Navy's fleet air defense as well as maritime and shore strike capability. To meet the existing and future challenges in the IOR, concurrent operational availability of at least two CBGs remains one of the Navy's prime requirements. 
With IAC Vikrant, we now belong to the elite club of select nations that can build an aircraft carrier. This ability must be used to its full potential. An aircraft carrier is not just a large and robust ship. but a resurgent metaphor of India's commitment in a mature and responsible maritime power. That meets future challenges and reacts swiftly to all evolving situations. That's what gets reflected in the rigorous performance and unwavering determination of our sea warriors. on board our aircraft carriers. Our yesterday has designed and determined our today. And our today will shape our tomorrow. The Indian Navy is conscious of its role as the sword of India's ocean. The Indian Navy, with acquired excellence in maritime domain, always on alert to reach out further, to improve on our abilities, keeping our flag proud and high. For now, for tomorrow, and for all times to come.